and welcome back to the show. So today on the show, our second guest is actually the creative director of Imaginations, Designs and Interiors. He is a graduate of Business Administration from Bayaro University in Kano, and he also has been in the business of uh, the arts and interior decorations, actually, and, you know, designs. Oh, he doesn't just decorate, trust me, he designs. I'm talking about no other person but Emmanuel Orapo. Welcome to the show, Emmanuel. Thank you very much. So how have you been? Very well. Thank you look you. great, by the way. I Thank love your you. top. Your shirt is very artistic. So tell me, right. um, why did why why interior designs? Why not something else in business? Okay. Why did you choose that? All right. Um, of course, like you said, uh, my background in business administration, and um, but I've always had the I mean had the creative part of me, um, and always been drawn to creative arts, um, right from being a kid. And uh, of course, um, for me, it would not just, it goes with even the things I wear and um, the area I stay. So um, it has to do with space. So I get um, in that mode when I walk into a place and I want to see things rightly placed. You know, the right colors, the right theme, the right um, settings. And, you know, so that creative flow just keeps flowing. And okay. just tied up with so that. Now, you, you've always, you've just mentioned, you know, wanting things to be rightly put in place yeah. and choosing the right colors because I think a lot of people have this issue. You walk into a place and you see color areas going on everywhere and you're yeah. wondering what happened. But what do you think, you know, can actually put people in that right place of, you know, putting things right when it comes to decorating homes or okay. offices or their space in general? Now I um, I've been so, I've been around, you know, and you walk into some places. Let me start with homes where people live. Um, I think everybody, every individual, right-thinking individual, has that creativity in them. Um, just that um, there's a little more detail when it comes to what we do as interior designers than the just the surface, you know, getting oh I want my chair to match with my cotton or I want the center rock to match with this. You know, everybody just has that little bit of creativity. But for us, we go that way step further to look at some way more details. And you begin to look at functionality of a space. So if you, like in an office setting, you don't just want things just cluttered here and there. There just has to be things rightly placed in the right, you know, Okay, so now I want places. to ask this question. What's the yes. difference between an interior decorator All right. and an interior designer? Okay, yes, I get to clarif always clarify that. Um, an interior decorator, uh, I would say, is just that person that um, just makes this place look nice. You know, so um, it's all about, you know, what needs to be where, oh, I need the flower to be this place. Just decorate the place and make it look nice, make it look lovely, you know, create the right ambience. But for a designer, um, we're more detailed. We, it's, um, it takes a whole analysis. You have to look at, it's like a project. So you're not just coming in to say, oh, this should be here, this should be here. What, how, who is going to be here? So I'm relating with the client what and I'm is saying, going to be where? yes, so, you know, if I'm dealing with an individual, I need to understand this person's mood, this person's um, orientation, and that has to come into that space. All right, so it's just beyond just the fact that, oh, nice color, it should be this color on the wall, it should be that color on the curtains. You know, those are just even the elementary. There's way more to that. So we're looking at way more details in when you talk about a interior designer. Okay. You know, so you need to analyze and look at the functionality of that space. Okay, so talking about the functionality yes, of the space and the analysis involved, when people, you know, um, seek your service All right. um, into designing a space for them. What are some of the things or details you actually, you know, more like dwell on, things okay. you consider before getting a job carried out? All right, so um, I, meet a, I get to meet a client and they ha we have a scope of work. So they say, this is what I want in my space. Um, first, I need to understand where they're coming from, who is this person, you know, what is your, if it's like a workspace, so what is your line of business, what is your brand? You know, I need your brand to speak in that space. And um, now, what do you represent? Because now I need to walk into that space and, you know, feel, 
you know, you don't need to speak much. So even if it's, I'm looking at the home space, for instance, um, your space, my space doesn't have to look like your space. You have your personal, your unique identity. So all that we look at, you know, and we begin to analyze, okay, how practical is this idea? Is it workable? Is it achievable? Then we now begin to look at the detail of okay, what will we require to get the job done and of course. So all of this is obviously when the client tells you what they want. Yes. So are there times when you feel you want to add your own infusion or your own um, knowledge of how you feel? Okay, yes, you want this. I okay. think I can add this to it yeah. and it's going to give it more life. At that time, you want to add up your own opinion? Yes, but you see, whatever you have to do as an interior designer, you have to be sensitive to the client you're working with. So, um, yes, we have our ideas, but it's not just about my ideas. It's about how to bring out, I need to understand who I'm dealing with. I need to understand the client's viewpoint. You know, what do you want? And how can, so even if I'm going to say, okay, yes, this your idea is great, but you know, it's best um, carried out in certain, you know, approach. You know, if it's workable, I mean, there are some ideas that can be, I mean, way out of line. But you see, you need to make your clients, I mean, carry them along at every point. Okay. All right. Okay, so now, let's, let's, talk, about, let's talk about the issue of um, people, more people, you know, seeking the services of interior designers right. when, you know, building up their space or they get a new apartment. A lot of people just feel, oh, we just rent an apartment. Just go somewhere. Might bring one chair, bring in one couch. Yeah. Just play in the place one corner and then we are fine. Why should they seek the services of an interior designer, no matter the space and its size? All right. And how affordable are interior designers in Nigeria today? Okay. I'll start with the latter question. <laughs> and that's where a lot of people feel, do I really need a designer? Um, one of the things I get to relate when I, I mean, when I put across to my clients when I meet them has to do with um, what's your budget? Mm. Actually, straight up, what's your budget? What are you looking at? And there are also things you begin to consider. So, for instance, there is how far you can go in a rented apartment than in your own house. house. So, um, if it's an office space, for instance, um, we need to do something. So, we, can we break this wall? Can we you know, do this, can we partition this place? So they are just a certain thing, they're just the limits you can go. But it all has to fall within reason, has to fall within budget of the client. So um, yes, you want to do something, you know, out of place. I want this place to look all nice. Fine, anybody can actually put their space together. Mm. You know, but you see, you, it takes the eye of an interior designer to look at more details that they are not seeing. Okay. All right, so it's beyond just the fact that the cotton matches, the rug and the chair is this color, and we need to have this in this place or this flower pot. You know, some things can just be a little bit of um, adding just that creative flu mm. in some spaces and just wow. So somebody just walks in and says, there's just something different. This is my identity in my space. So they're just the way I want my sitting room to look. They're just the way I want my um, maybe study room to look. They're just, you know, so you need to bring out your identity in your space, whether it's your workspace or your living space. Okay. Yeah. So now I know that you're a very artistic person too. And then I, I want to ask this question. I, is there a time where, have you ever had clients who just tell you, I want you to just recreate my space. They don't give you ideas. They just give you the space to do what they feel you have as an idea concerning their persona. Have you ever had such clients before? Uh, I wouldn't say yes, but if I get to have, I will be concerned because um, I wouldn't just go, oh, wow, fine, that's cool. I'm just going to do what I want. You see, you're, I'm not going to stay in that space. So I will need to understand, even if they don't have a clue or an idea, but in talking with them, I will pick something mm -hmm. that I can work with. Okay. Even for the way the person dresses, I can say, okay, this is a very calm person. So there's just something about the color scheme that goes with his identity. Okay. You know, I look at somebody and says, oh, this person is loud. He's, you know, he's outgoing, outspoken. There's just some things that has to do with your personality that will come into your space. Okay. So uh, now, judging, judging with, with what you do right, right. now, um, you've actually been in the business for at least over two, over three two, years. Yeah. Now. <coughs> How far do you think interior designing would go in Nigeria within the next five years? Ah, very far. Why so? Very far. Um, 
it's 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 a space that is even now I I I begin to see that um, quite a number of architectural you know structures that are being built are infusing interior um, you know architectural design into their work you know so you see a lot of building that are getting a little more detail than what we used to have so the prospects are quite large okay people are beginning to appreciate the fact that I don't just want a regular space you know from the kind of floor that I want to have in my you know is it the wooden floor is it the tile floor from the kind of ceiling design so those little details are beginning to come into even the architectural work okay. such that it looks as if almost um, what the interior designer would do is not as much unlike what we used to have so this prospect are enormous people are beginning to appreciate the fact that my space needs to be a little way more functional than what it what the regular okay know. so imagine you have uh, a young youth who wants to go into interior designing what are the few words of advice you would have for him or her okay so um i'll say it's not um it's a place where you have to do a lot of work your personal work you beyond just the fact that you have that creative flair you you love things to be well rightly put in the right places you need to study you need to go for knowledge and you need to bring your um have a brand i i i am i am also in that route and i'm you know wanting to have a niche so you say you come into this place and you say this is the touch of this person's brand so just go the extra mile don't just settle for the regular i see a lot of people do interiors and it looks like just regular you know what's what is unique about your design so basically just carve a niche for carve yourself. A, carve a niche for yourself and that doesn't just come by you saying i want to do things differently you need to continually research you need to continually push yourself the extra mile and okay. create your own brand thank you so much for all this knowledge i look forward to having you design my apartment too uh, okay. anyway no problem no problems <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for being on the show and sharing it's all the knowledge that you have here. shared today. So how can people follow you, Imano? Okay, so my Twitter, uh, I'll start with that. That is at Ima, I-M-M-A, or Apple. So just one word, Ima or Apple. That's my Twitter handle. For Instagram, I am at Style Ima, Style, I-M-M-A. And then, of course, I have my email. So we don't have a website at this point, but <laughs> the email is fine. Just... At, uh, that's imaginations at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, so you could do us a mail and we will respond. Okay, there you have it. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.